Members of the Society for Peace Studies and Practice, Gateway Aviari, have joined other notable Nigerians and paramilitary agencies in celebrating the 2019 edition of the International Day of Peace with a peace walk to commemorate the day with a global theme, Climate Action for Peace. Our correspondent Michael Adesanya reports. Every 21st of September is celebrated as International Day of Peace. Consequently, members of the various groups embarked upon a peaceful walk across major streets in Abiyokuta, propagating the message of peace in order to mark the day. Speaking to newsmen after the peace walk, peace advocates maintained that there is the need for Nigerians to embrace peace so that there can be economic development in the country. They said the work was to send a strong signal to Nigerians to shun violence. They further explained that the essence of the movement was to sensitize the public against the abysmal effect of climate change. Of course, there is no alternative to, to peace. Um, an uneducated society is always beset with all problems imaginable. So when you give same society a good education and orientation, you realize that the problem of the same society is dissolved. So what we are doing in commemoration of this day, International Day of Peace, is to mobilize, to sensitize the public, to see the need to embrace peace and shun violence. There is no alternative to peaceful coexistence of people in the country. We have to shun violence, we have to stop, um, we have to show understanding, embrace ourselves, consider ourselves, tolerate one another, you know, irrespective of our differences. The, the, the only I mean, alternative for it is to sit down at the round table and um, uh, amicably resolve it. We, as uh, lovely Nigerians and uh, law-abiding citizens, we should shun uh, insurgency. Um, particularly uh, to the IPOPs in the eastern part of Nigeria, uh, to the Islamic uh, movement of Nigeria. We want to tell them that uh, peace is the way to go. In a country where there is no peace, uh, there will be economic sabotage. Uh, the, the social life of that particular uh, country will be at stake. And uh, more so, in line with uh, the United Nations Global Goal, uh, we want to tell the South African government to um, please embrace peace. We are not having peace because a lot of us are selfish. We are not focused. We are only after what we can derive from the society and not looking at a way of giving back to the society. And part of the giving back to the society is the reason why we are here today, because we need to plant trees in our environment. For somebody who is selfish, they will want to cut trees. They are not thinking of planting. They are not thinking of the generations coming behind them. Then for people who sell plants and they cut our trees in, in, in indiscriminately in the forest, they are very selfish because they are not thinking of the generations coming behind us. Today we are experiencing global warming. Everywhere is warm, people are not convenient. And what we are doing here, we are forgotten. We are fictors in Europe. What our activities there at times can cause tsunami and so many environmental factors. So it's all borders on selfish. Peaceful atmosphere, they say, can foster development. And all must embrace peace. Thank you.